party people and welcome back to my channel so I'm coming at you at 10 o'clock at night in my pajamas looking like a hot mess because I'm here to test out a really cool tool that I found at TJ Maxx so lately I've been really into eyebrow threading and basically all forms of facial hair threading and coincidentally enough I went to TJ Maxx and I saw this tool I know and they call this a twist and roll tweezer easy hair threading tool so here's what it looks like here's what the box looks like and basically it's supposed to be threading without the actual thread so if you haven't tried threading it's pretty difficult and people say it's really painful and stuff which it kind of is but it's one of those things that you kind of get used to the more you do like waxing at first feels horrible and then you do it a few times it's like eh, it's not so bad so here's what it looks like and basically it's just this like spring that's it and you bend it and you twist it and it's supposed to remove the hair on your face but this little thing is pretty cool this was $4.99 at TJ Maxx so the mustache it's gotta go so spoiler alert I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that the first couple of times that I used this it was rather painful and I don't know if it's because I didn't do it right because the first step it says to do is to use a hot towel to open the pores and soften the skin I didn't do that so we're gonna do that today. I have my facial steamer over here. I'm gonna get it going. So after you use a hot towel or whatever you decide to use to soften the pores and whatnot, it says bend the twist and roll and place the spring against the skin. So you have to bend it like this. It doesn't work when you do do like this. You have to bend it. And then the third step, it says to turn the handles to roll the springs upwards. Facial hair will then be removed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do my little facial steamer business. Actually, I should probably show you what everything looks like prior to this. So look at my mustache, like it is in full swing. Okay, I'm back from facial steaming. <laughs> when you don't know how to properly take your makeup off at the age of 24. Here we go. So I'm gonna put it on the skin and twist up. And the lip, oh my God. The lip is the most painful area, okay? I can handle it on the rest of my face. Now I will say this is not something you wanna use for your eyebrows, it's just not precise enough, I mean, maybe the center of your eyebrow like maybe like your unibrow area um but you definitely don't want to use this around your eyebrows just don't do it but for the face and for the lip it's actually really good for that especially for the face because your face kind of desensitizes desensitizes to it yeah um but your lip hurts like a mother okay we're going back in so i'm gonna start really low and i'm just twisting it outward i don't know if you guys can see my skin pulling yeah you totally can <gasps> oh my god i feel like i'm not making a dent oh my god but i will say i did try this the other day with face makeup on and it kind of does make it feel not as bad it's kind of like the makeup acts as a barrier um so you might want to do this with makeup you know what i got a little something something on my chin down here so let's just get that oh that's not bad at all oh that's not bad at all oh god bunch out hell's bells that's nice it kind of feels like little prickly needles okay let's see how do i, I need a stretch my skin out so I can't talk I'm doing this I'm gonna try to stretch it out Wait. <laughs> oh my god <gasps> oh my god are we done yet but that side does look a lot better let's see if you guys can tell the difference mm-hmm look at it you can see it right there you can totally tell a difference you can actually hear the hairs like going Did you hear that? I don't know how much this actually like pulls them out by the root because that's one of the benefits of eyebrow th or not just eyebrow threading, just threading in general is that it actually completely removes the hair from the root. Sometimes tweezing, it breaks the hair off. So, you know, not quite like, you know, shaving or anything where you're just getting the surface, but sometimes tweezing breaks the hair to where you're not getting the entire root too. So I don't really know if this does that. <gasps> oh my God. When I open it up, I can see all of the hairs inside it's like confetti oh, okay okay uh the whole heat thing doesn't really help it still hurts like a mofo oh my god there's so many hairs on this side i feel like they're like thicker and coarser and darker and everything this part in the middle oh my god <laughs> oh my god that hurts so bad oh my god my soul just felt like it was ripped out we're gonna move on to the side of the face now because I need a break. The face, for real, isn't that bad. I mean, it kind of hurts when you first do it. Like, oh, 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 wow. Okay, yeah, it's been a while since I've done this, so there's just a lot of peach fuzz going on. It's pulling out my sideburns. 
I gotta keep those. I'm trying to go for that Elvis Presley look. Maybe I need to curve it more down. I'm getting nauseous. It's like, it's never ending. Where does all the hair come from? Let's go over here. Let's pull out all my actual hair. And... Oh my God. No, no. That could have been bad. If you get it stuck in your eyebrow or your hair on your head or your eyelashes, just don't panic, just pull it apart. Yeah, just stay away from your eyebrows. That's just no bueno. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this video to a close because we could be here all night if I really wanted to be. I mean, when you're removing hair from your face, whether it's wax or tweezing or whatever, I mean, aside from shaving, it's gonna hurt. So, I mean, I think this is a pretty nifty little thing and it does work. Like, it's not hard to learn. It's pretty effective. I mean, it's not the most fun. Oh wait, there's a little dye room down here. Okay, works the same as hair threading technique. Gently removes hair at the root. Can be used over makeup without a mirror. Okay, so it can be used with over, oh my God, I need to put makeup on now. Okay guys, I just wanted to come back and give you an observation after I was completely done, cause I probably should have done that. And I also should have come back and actually applied some powder or some kind of face makeup just to kind of show you how it acts as barrier and it's less painful, but I didn't do that, my bad. But um, I do recommend putting at least a little bit of like face powder or something on. I think that would help a lot. But um, I'm finally done after about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and my face feels so smooth and soft and just hairless now. Uh, granted, it's red and it's inflamed and irritated and it looks like I've been scratching at it, but this will go away soon. It will go away. Beauty is pain. I think this is worth it. For me, even though it hurts, I give it a thumbs up. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed it. And if you see these in your TJ Maxx or something, let me know if you do. And let me know if you decide to pick it up and what happens when you try it. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. I have a little button over here. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.